Hello everyone, welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled Collaborating to Improve Asset Management via the SAP Asset Intelligence Network. In today's webinar, you will learn how the SAP Asset Intelligent Network helps manufacturers, operators, and service providers to collect, track, and trace equipment information in a central repository. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Good morning, good afternoon. Folks, uh, welcome to our presentation today. I'm Pete Demchenko, Director of Consulting Services of LeverX, like Alan said. Previously uh, employed at SAP, where I was the PLM Practice Manager for 16 years. So this is a exciting topic for me to watch um, SAP PLM mature as it is. Okay, here's the agenda that's coming forward. Um, I'll talk today a little bit about the situation and set the, um, the tone and then um, Daniel will take it from there and give you the details about asset intelligent management, um, a demo of the solution, and then we'll have some time at the end for some questions and discussion. Okay, um, this is an interesting slide because basically it show you, shows you an out of the box thinking for how AIN can be used. Um, around the world, there's a, a decrease in the population of bees and beehives, and SAP was able to help address this by using this kind of solution to put a digital uh, uh, tail on a um, on a bee, so the bees can actually be tracked as they travel through their um, their li their lives, and from the hives to out to the flowers to collect the pollen as they move around and using this tracking capability to maybe help identify what's impacting the bees and the hives themselves. So it's a very interesting way and an out-of-the-box thinking about how SAP solutions can be used these days. And we thought this might be a nice lead-in for you. Um, what's happening out there is there's a change in the economy. And that economy is changing very quickly. It's becoming much more of a digital economy than the standard economy that we all grew up with. Basically, what's happening is that consumers are much more educated today. They're very sure about what they're looking for. And an example might be a simple one, but one that I'm living quite a bit right now is my daughter's getting married. So my wife, my daughter, her sisters, and my other daughters, all of the folks that are in the wedding are out on the internet constantly looking for wedding dresses and dresses that they're going to wear, formal dresses, to all these different events that precede the wedding. So they're out there checking out the internet, having things sent to our house, thousands of dollars worth of dresses that they send back if they don't fit, and, and these kind of things. So the products are much more individualized for the consumer. The dresses have to look a certain way, they have to feel a certain way. And then these dresses are made all over the place and they're purchased all over the place. So there's daughters being married all around the world in dresses that are made all around the world. And these dresses have to be changed and modified. So it's a much more global interactive economy of, of people that are very educated and becoming more educated because of the internet and what they want to buy. And then also that drives the data that's out on the internet. SAP's position on, of large data is exactly right because all of this data that's being built and collected, an example of using big data, which isn't maybe a good example on how it should have been used, was at the election time. When you can look and you saw the data said one thing, but the poll said another thing. So the use of data and how you put these things together is really, really important. Okay, thank you, Pete. Good morning and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Daniel Huber. Let me just share my screen. Just a second. 
So I'm a product manager um, for Internet of Things application at SAP, and I want to provide you some more details about the Asset Intelligence Network in the next few minutes. Let me just see if I have to say right monitor. It looks good. Okay, so um, Asset Intelligence Network is a cloud-based business network with consumer-grade user experience, and it's seamlessly integrated with Fiori, Fiori Launchpad, Sub UI 5, and a lot of other solutions. Um, it provides simple and secure onboarding, so customers can easily um, come into this network, um, define their equipment uh, model, all those information, and provide easy access to their partners, to their to the operators, to their customers, and to service providers. So it really helps you to eliminate system barriers between manufacturers, operators, and service providers um, throughout the whole asset life cycle. And by doing that, really enforce and foster collaboration between along this path. It also has powerful business content and analytics. You see a screenshot on the right side. So it helps you to um, define your models, which are generic representations of your product, and the equipment that are installed at the different customers. And it, it helps you to um, define all those um, digital information, all those information in a digital way. So you, you have the possibility to make a digital representation of your physical equipment and really store all the related information throughout the um, life cycle of this product. Um, in addition to that, you can also maintain information about spare parts and really help customers to easily acquire those spare parts, order those spare parts, integrate with, with other solutions from SAP in this process. Um, it provides um, the latest and greatest document information and service bulletins for your maintenance strategies. And you can evenly, even look at the 3D visual representations that, also, that Pete already mentioned. So we also have direct integration of um, visual enterprise capabilities and a lot of more powerful tools around that. In addition to that, Asset Intelligence Network is a kind of, yeah, it's a system of engagement. So um, it provides a lot of different integration capabilities with other solutions. And you do not have to replicate all data into the Asset Intelligence Network. We, um, through the HANA Cloud integration, we also make it possible that we can easily read data from other solutions. Um, here I have sketched some examples. 